The Nobel Prize is a very prestigious award that most scientists would love to win, and as I am a European citizen, I have technically already won a Nobel Peace Prize, as they gave one to the European Union and its citizens. But never mind that, this is about how you can win a Nobel Prize. If you actually want to win an award, you must be very prepared for it. If you win, they will call you at any time, night or day. In 1996, Nobel laureate Peter Doherty was called at 4am to pre-warn him about winning the Nobel Prize. He was given a whole 10 minute warning before the press were informed. Then the phones ran almost continuously, which surprised him and his family. So here's how to win. If you want to win, there are sort of four conditions to winning. Condition number one is you must be seeking to advance human knowledge or create a solution to a world problem. People who create major shifts in thinking for a field are more likely to receive a Nobel Prize for their work. For instance, it would be tough to imagine where theoretical physics would be without Albert Einstein's contribution that earned him the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. Condition number two is be prepared to give up everything, and I mean everything. It has been shown that people who place themselves very close to their research are more likely to win it, like Ralph Steinman, who was so engrossed in curing cancer that he tested a vaccine on himself. Sadly, Ralph Steinman died of pancreatic cancer. Condition three is you have to be good with the public. Most winners are well known within their field. Some even take it the extra step and explain their work to people outside their field. People like us. Condition number four is that your work must be in one of these areas. Peace, chemistry, physics, medicine, literature, or economics. If you fail any one of these conditions, you might as well just give up on your ambitions of winning a Nobel Prize because the selection process is tough and there will be someone who will beat you. The selection process is a very long one containing many stages. Stage one is nomination and this is what you need to do. Become friends with people in high places. Only a few people are actually allowed to nominate people for a Nobel Prize. This is why being good with the public is so important. You need to be known by powerful people. Try and make friends with members of national governments, members of the Permanent Court of Abituration and of the International Court of Justice, former Nobel Peace Prize winners, people like that. If you get nominated, the Norwegian Nobel Committee will create a shortlist of 5 to 20 people in each category. Now, it is completely out of your hand. The committee isn't allowed to have anyone from politics in it because it might sway the judgement due to political circumstance, so you can't even bribe your way in. All the candidates are then reviewed by experts in the field and permanent members of the committee. The committee will then try and reach a unanimous vote on the winner in each field. If they can't reach one by the deadline at the beginning of October, a majority vote will be used for the winner. Once you have won, they will give you a whole 10 million Swedish crowns, about $1.15 million or about £780,000 sterling. You will also get a medal, a personal diploma, which is like a certificate, and you're also allowed to use the title Nobel Prize Laureate. Now that you have won it, it is said by many laureates that it becomes very hard to do anything afterwards. It becomes very hard to publish papers as everyone wants your time, mainly doing lectures at different universities around the world, but after a while things will start to calm down and you'll get back onto the normal train of advancing human knowledge. So best of luck, I know you'll do great. See you in the next video. Bye!